let's do this new game. I'm gonna do new game. Let's see where this takes us. Firewatch. Ah, Boulder, Colorado, 1975. Okay. You see Julia. Okay. I see Julia. Click. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with the well-dressed prof professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You're you, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. Yeah, yeah. Sounds about right. You are drunk. Um, you, you're pretty. She says coolly. You're pretty, she says coolly. You are not. You are a, you are a f <laughs> future hangover. What? You reply confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter. And one, uh, later, you, uh, one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Hell yeah. All I had to do was say you're pretty. Now I'm in a... What are we doing? Backpack. Got my backpack. All the buttons. Um, okay. The uh, lighting's a little fucked up in this game. I don't think light works that way. Okay, so where am I going? Truck? Just throw it back there, fuck it. You date for over a year, she drives you absolutely nuts, it's great. You move in, you share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about everywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle Julia is in love with. She wants to bring with her class. She's also... There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Oh, Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Oh, uh, I love both dogs! Can't we have both of them? She loves the beagle. Let's get her a beagle. Bucket's a good dog. Bucket's a good dog. And a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Aw, Julia loves him. You love him, too. Aw. 1979. The year I was born. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off of the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart, or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple of idiots. That'd be pretty good. Why not? In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough, it's probably for the best their parents be hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Yay! What about the dog? I want to know more about the dog. Well, we're doing something. Do I have the backpack? No? Backpack, backpack. Wild the Explorer. What's this? Put on. Hold E. I got a hat now. Going hiking. Backpack, backpack. 
Aww. 1980, it's Thursday night, and Julie is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried of getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Ignore her. You don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to tiny, to a tiny pill of resentment. Sounds like me. You make some coffee and go to work. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go to. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret. Yes! Julie was right. You are pretty. <laughs> I am very pretty. Thank you. Wee. Ooh, it's getting dark. Two forks, look out, tower, eight more miles still. Space bar. Look at that sunset, that's pretty. 1982, during the summers, you and Julie enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town that brings folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Oh no! Bucket gets kicked, no! Buh, 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 buh. But fucking dog, Julie yells, gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confronted the attack, you confront the attacker, you scare him away. You beat his goddamn face in. Your arms are cut up and you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't even feel very, you don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before a cop show up. Julie asks to take, uh, to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay. I don't want to go that way either. From then you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julie gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do if you if you don't want to move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Ooh. She's found crying in the stairwell. Uh, you say that maybe you guys should talk, should talk to someone about it. Yes. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. Oh, shit. You both decide to keep it secret for now. I got a journal. Oh, uh, um, sorry, game. Sorry. I should prop. Yeah. Yeah, that was the penis. That was probably me posing like. Oh, God. <sighs> Alright. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he's get he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later later she goes back to the university. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Ah! Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children are little idiots. 
Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into panic, believing her dad is at the door. Oh no. Nothing nothing's a turn off like like having daddy at the door, that's for sure. You tell her family they're crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home to Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. Oh no. 1988, you spend your days following Julie around the house. You count the seconds between two weekly visits from Daniel, the, nur the nurse. She suge uh, he suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere within 24 hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full-time facility. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. Ah, the hard questions. She needs a home. Why are you doing this to me, game? Why are you making me sad? Hmm. Hey, come here. I'm gonna eat you. Nom 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 nom. Wait, what the fuck? Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day. Then every other day. Oh no. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband that you get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, "If you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off." You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. 1989. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you don't if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. Oh no, I see where this is going. Once go by, Bucket dies. Oh. Julie doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer's coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Gotta remember the good times. Not always the bad times. Even though that is a shit show. That's sad. Oh. Look, I'm here! Enter the lookout tower. Shh. Oh, it makes me hop over. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Maybe this is the kind of job I should take. Oh man, there is like no windows here. I think he's boarded up. Hmm. 